handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from the Meadows Racetrack here on Saturday. It is the 27th of July 2024. I'm going to look at the featured 15th race from the Meadows, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Hit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the featured 15th race, which is the 58th Delvin Miller Adios Finals for three-year-old paces here, going for a $350,000 purse. Field 9 horses going that one-mile trip. Got to take the fours. Captain Albino is a top selection. 4-5-2 in the trifecta for me here in the Adios. 4-5-2, tri-cast trifecta. Top selection of four horse, Captain Albino. Three-year-old colt by Captain Treacherous. Noel Daly trains. Todd McCarthy's in the sulky. Last week in the Limbs here at the Meadows, over the mile on the 20th of July, and the horse went by three and a quarter lengths that day. And basically had a dream trip. He stalked. He got the lead. 20 cents of the dollar. 26 and three final quarter. 149 and two. That was a very good race back to um, a 5 8 mile track. Refreshing here again back to the uh, the course off some decent runs with some serious class relief from his previous races. I think he could win. He didn't run well in the Meadowlands pace two weeks ago at the Meadowlands. 13th of July, finished 9th by 11 lengths. He had a wide trip that day, and he just couldn't get um, catch anything that day. It wasn't his day to win. And the Elims, he barely got there. He finished third by four and a quarter lengths that day. And again, he had to leave for a split portion, got overtaken, and then just, um, you know, it just wasn't running fluently that day. He just never was comfortable there. And, you know, the North America Cup at the at um, Mohawk, he finished fourth by two and three quarter lengths that day. And again, he had a bit of a wide trip, and uh, you know, which probably cost him. But he got around the race course well. His limb, he just kind of went a little bit too quick to that. Um to the three quarters, um, but again, he, he traveled decently there. I do think he likes running better on a 5 8 mile track. If you look at his Pennsylvania Sire Stakes at Chester and at Pocono earlier this season, those races were really nicely done. 149 4 on the 26th of May at Chester, uh, winning by three quarters length on the front end. That was a very good race. And then the week prior in, in the Rear Colts uh, and Geldings, Pocono Sire Stakes, winning by a head from a tracking trip. He really, um, you know, took off clear from the pocket. Um, really been in, in, on the improve. Getting some serious class relief from his previous races, he could win. The five horse Clever Cody for Aaron Merriman and uh, Moore could win also. It was a winner two weeks ago in the Ohio Sire Stakes of Sayota. Went by three quarters length on the front end. He really ran terrifically, 150 and 2. Last week in the limb behind. Um, Behind the other, um, uh, the other winner, um, who was Wishy Well, he just kind of, you know, stalked him that day, and uh, or you know, the pace kind of yielded late, but he had a very quick half that day, which probably cost him. Hopefully, slowing it down, he could win his race in the North America Cup. Conso at uh, Mohawk wasn't bad at all. Another horse back to the five eighths mile track. He's proven that's where he runs his fastest times. He could win. Let's use him at four to one in the ticket. But to recount my selection for the fifteenth now from the Meadows, it's the Adios Final. Going to take the four horse, Captain Albino. Give kudos to the five horse Clever Cody, four five two trifecta, four five in the multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Cat Five. Good luck everyone.